dear children so happy morning to one and all so now we are going to discuss the new lesson it is chapter 4 the lesson name is materials metals and non metals so in this chapter so we are going to discuss the topics to be covered first let me give the introductions of this lesson so what is in my materials and how it can be obtained so these are some introduction part and followed by the metals physical properties of metals and non metals and physical properties of non metals and chemical properties of metals and non metals so actually what is the difference between physical properties and chemical properties children so physical properties means their appearance appearance melting point boiling point density so these are all the physical properties with the help of appearance we have to determine the properties chemical properties so chemical properties means so what happens the metal or the non metal is reacted with water as is base etc so chemical properties means the compound or element that is reacted with some other compound or substance so that is known as chemical properties so chemical properties means reaction will be taking place so physical property means their appearance and next so in the chemical properties we are going to discuss with so what happens when metals and non metals is reacts with oxygen so what is the formula for oxygen children yes o2 and next is reaction with water so what happens when metals and non metals is reacted with water so what is the formula for water yes h2o and next reaction with acids so what happens when the metals and non metals is reacted with acids acids means so when we add water in the acid means it will ionized it will ionized as h plus ions and the taste of the acid is sour taste how we can identify the acid children it's very easy so when we take the blue litmus paper so when we dip the blue litmus paper in the acid it will turns to red color so from that we can easily identify the acids what are the examples of acids hydrochloric acid what is the formula for hydrochloric acid hcl and sulfuric acid what is the formula for sulfuric acid h2so4 and nitric acid what is the formula for nitric acid hno3 and acetic acid the formula for acetic acid is ch3coh so these are all the examples of acids so acid is nothing but so when we add water in that acid it will release or it will ionize the h plus ions the examples are hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid acetic acid the next is reaction with bases so reaction with bases means so in acid when we add water it will release hydrogen ions that is h plus ions in bases when we add water it will release hydroxide ion hydroxide ion that is oh minus ions and the taste of the acid is so taste now the taste of base the taste of base is bitter 
So how we can identify the acid or bases? If there is acid means we have to dip the blue litmus paper in the acid means it will turns to red color. For example, they are given some base. So how we can identify? So in that we have to take red litmus paper. We have to take the red litmus paper and we have to dip the red litmus paper in the base. It will turns to blue color. So from that we can identify the base. The example for bases are sodium hydroxide. So what is the formula for sodium hydroxide? NaOH. Potassium hydroxide. The potassium hydroxide formula is KOH. Calcium hydroxide. So calcium hydroxide formula is CaOH twice. So these are all the examples of bases. And last topic is displacement reaction. And one more last one is uses of metals and non-metals. So these are all the topics we have to discuss in this lesson. First, let me take some materials. So in that materials, we have to identify the appearance, whether it will be shiny or dull. So shiny means we can tell it as lustrous. The lustrous. Lustrous means the substance or the materials is the appearance is look like shiny that is known as lustrous and next is hardness so whether we have to tell the material is very hard or not very hard we have to identify that the first material is iron so you can see here the iron, the iron, the appearance, the appearance is it's dull or shiny children. Yes, it is shiny. So shiny means it's lustrous and hardness. You can see the iron is very hard or not very hard. Yes, it's very hard. So we can conclude it with the material, the object, iron, the appearance is shiny and hardness, hardness it will be very hard. And the next material is coal. The coal is made with the presence of carbon. So carbon. So in that we can see the material is coal. So here you can see the appearance. So appearance is shiny or dull. Yes, it is dull. And hardness. So hardness is it's very hard or not very hard children. Yes, it is not very hard. So we can conclude it with the object coal. The appearance is dull and the hardness, hardness is not very hard. And next material is sulphur. So what is the symbol for, what is the formula for sulphur children? Yes. So here you can see the appearance, the appearance is shiny or dull. Yes. It is dull. And next hardness. So you can see here how it is. It is look very soft. It is very powdery. Softness is there now. So we can conclude with the sulphur object or material. The appearance is dull. And the hardness it is soft. 
and the next material is aluminium so what is the symbol for aluminium children s a l an appearance so how it's look like it's shiny or dull yes it is shiny so it's having the lustrous property lustrous will be there in the aluminium material and hardness so hardness you can tell it's very hard or not very hard children yes it's very hard so we can tell it as the material the object that is aluminium its appearance is shiny so shiny means it's having the lustrous property and next is hardness so hardness it is hard and the next material is copper so copper what is the symbol for copper children yes cu so what is the appearance here it is dull or shiny yes it is shiny and hardness it's very hard or not very hard children yes it's very hard so we can conclude with the material or object copper their appearance is shiny and the hardness it's very hard and now we can continue the history of metals we will we can discuss some metals when it will be introduced so first the gold the gold is introduced in 6000 bc and copper so copper is introduced at 4200 bc and silver silver is introduced at 4000 bc and lead lead is introduced in 3500 bc and tin tin is introduced at 1750 bc and iron so iron is introduced at 1500 bc so it's called as this year is called as iron age and the mercury platinum antimony bismuth zinc and arsenic so these are all introduced at 750 bc okay children so see you on next session thank you